Hi, this is Vince with Discounting Board Marine. We're going to do a quick video on how to time an engine. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to need a timing light. On the Ford engines, it's a half inch wrench will do just fine. There's a little locking bolt on the distributor that you're going to have to loosen up. You just go inside, find the bolt, loosen it up, and then you can turn the distributor left and right. Uh, we're going to hook up the timing light and the timing light on these engines is pretty easy. You find the starter relay, you can pull 12 volts off of that or the battery, a ground, and then you just take the connector, connect it to the number one spark plug wire, and then you're going to want to look at your timing marks. There's a little uh, pointer right here, and the timing marks are right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little white mark that I use just white out paper. Uh, correction fluid. Make a little mark. So when you come back with your timing light, that mark will pop out. You can see right where it is on the pointer. And you want to set your timing with this particular engine at 10 degrees before top dead center. This is a Prestolite screw down distributor. It could have a Prestolite, it could have a Mallory, it could have a DUI. Uh, any distributor that you have, the base timing will change a little bit from distributor to distributor, but your final timing on a standard engine is no more than 30 degrees before top dead center. If it's a high output forward engine with the GT40 heads, you don't want to go beyond 22 degrees before top dead center. And then wherever your base timing falls, there's your base timing, and you go from there. Uh, you check wide open throttle timing at 4400 RPM. You can actually go down to about 4200 RPM. You can do it out of the water. You're going to bring that RPM up just momentarily so a hose can handle it. Let it back down and just make sure your timing doesn't exceed 30 degrees on a standard forward engine. So we're going to go ahead and start the engine, warm it up a little bit, and then we'll check the timing and see where we are. We're going to hook up our timing light, which is pretty easy to do on a marine engine. You've got a starter relay, which is right here, and this cable goes right to the positive battery post. You're going to want 12 volts there. This is a ground. Anywhere on the engine block, you can pick up a ground. And then over here, is your connection to your number one spark plug wire and this thing just hangs on there like that. On the Ford engines as you're standing behind the engine it's going to be the first spark plug on the right hand side. On a GM engine like a 350 or a 305 it's going to be the first spark plug on the left hand side of the engine. And you're going to do the timing the same way on a GM engine or a Ford engine and we'll go around to the front, get it started, and see how it looks. Okay, we set our idle speed at about 600 RPM. We've got our timing light hooked up. We've got our mark on the harmonic balancer. To adjust the timing, we loosened up the little clamp. It's a half inch bolt head. Now we can rotate and turn the distributor. So we're gonna start the engine and check the, for our timing mark. If it's off a little bit, we just rotate the distributor either to the right or the left. And you can see that white mark will move a little bit up or a little bit down. And that's how you check your timing. So we already warmed up the engine. We'll start it up and give it a check. Got our timing mark dead on the pointer. Now we can tighten up the little locking uh, block on the 
distributor and we've got it timed. The only other thing that we're going to do is 